the idea of humans emulating animalistic movements and animals themselves um, for 23 minutes in a dance is astonishing. It's remarkable. It's really an incredible idea. Um, I loved the minimal costumes. It just, it added a sense of purity to what they were actually doing. I loved the location. It was incredible. This was such an original film. I've never seen anything like this. I'm completely floored by it. Um, I love the location. I love the location label, the, the words and the, the, the degrees of where they were. Loved that. Um, I loved the editing. It was so brilliant going back and forth between the actual birds and the humans. Um, it was stunning. Um, oh, let's see what else did I write? Um, oh, the choreography. Being able to create a troupe of dancers to um, express the grace and the power of these birds, it was all in the choreography and in the way that these beautiful, beautiful dancers expressed themselves and and uh, really committed to the storytelling. I also loved the music. The piano was gorgeous. And I loved the foley because it was really subtle. It was very, very underlying. It was not in the forefront. And every once in a while, you could hear a wave or some sand being stamped on, or it was just really beautiful. Do North reminded me of, um, you know, like prehistoric human migration, animal migration. Um, first of all, I want to say that setting is beautiful and to strip it, strip these dancers down and have them travel as a pack. It really, um, brings out this idea of animalistic nature and, um, and not the bestiality, but the like beastiness of, um, this, you know, pr primal spirit of, of humans in in all of nature and traveling as one and finding a group and going into the unknown and feeling you know feelings for the first time experiencing things being unaware it it was just a really beautiful piece that really strips the human bear and kind of um a analyzes uh what we are um once again i have to say really beautiful piece the movement was I think the movement was, was the best part of this. Um, sometimes these pieces, if they're, you know, if it's a beautiful setting, sometimes it almost overtakes it, but this, you, it, it is a dance piece through and through, and it's showcasing the story through the movement and everything else just, um, are added layers. So it was, it was really beautiful, really well done. Um, really thoughtful, um, as a piece and, and just really enjoyable to watch. Right off the bat, you just from the costuming and the location, you can tell there's a very primal feel to this piece. Uh, it, it very much it was very interesting watching them uh, mimic and imitate a lot of different wildlife and just seeing them interact with one another. And again, you can kind of see that in the choice of wardrobe uh, to fully emphasize uh, the, I guess, nakedness of the world. Or just um, the only thing that the dancers really had was the um, flesh-colored... Uh, I guess you would say tights and it, it makes sense. Cause you know, in, in the wilderness, we're the one anomaly that wears clothing. <laughs> and so, uh, just watching this reenactment of nature and the animals within nature it was very fascinating to watch. Fascinating piece. Absolutely just really interesting to watch. It's kind of hard to imagine, uh, you know, even a person being that at one with nature. Um, then you have a whole group of them here. The contrast of 
and it shouldn't even really be a contrast, but when you have just pure flesh, naked flesh in the wild like that, it's, it just does something uh, to us psychologically, at least to me anyways. Uh, it should be the most natural thing, and yet it seems unnatural, but it's really just beautiful here. Uh, the movement's really fluid. Um, you can see them almost kind of mimicking uh, the animals. Really, uh, just, just an interesting 22 minutes of uh, really evocative dance. Really interesting. Wow, this was visually stunning. Such great camera work and lighting. Being in the nat natural you know, setting of uh, just nature and the lighting and... The cinematography was was great. Um, all the different shots of just nature and the birds and then these people. Um, it felt like they were discovering who they were through their body movements and expressing who they were. Uh, it was just really, really original piece and really neat to watch. And just the music was perfect for this and all of the dancers in their body movements and just all the different choreography was was really neat to watch and really well done. It uh, follows a group of dancers uh, during the day uh, in what looks to be the North Shore of the St. Lawrence River. And uh, it's set in nature. Uh, the, uh, the actors or dancers uh, rise from the water and perform. And it's visually uh, compelling. Um, it has kind of an eerie soundtrack. But if you like dance, and there is a yelp in the middle of it, which <laughs> I'm broken up a little bit. I was, I, I, I was curious that there, there's a story there somewhere. But uh, enjoy it. Highly ambitious piece. Um, especially scantily clad uh, Canadians up north in this sort of beautiful uh, sort of swampy northern lake maybe perhaps like a mountain lake of some sort uh, and they're basically dance for dance like birds the, the, the setting was great some of the cinematography was excellent mm -hmm. 